Hello, good morning, everyone. Okay. Um, first of all, Maureen, what a great story and way to commemorate your mom. I want to start doing this with my parents, and I have some tips for you that I think I want to learn from you as well. So I'm going to start looking into all of these things that you did. Um, so I'm going to be, just so everybody knows, Anita's here, so I'm going to be looking at her. I'm not going to be looking at the camera necessarily, and that's one thing I think that's a little bit different from this approach is where do we look, and then that's something for Anita that we'll have to figure out because you're looking at us, but then you're looking at them, so it was a little, you know, for us in person, it was great, um, and I think your movements were great, but I don't know how that came across you know, on Zoom, um, because you're just in this little box. But here, your movements were great. I loved the animation that you have. So first off, I love presidential libraries too. I've been to the one, um, the local boys, as you would have called them. I think they're really interesting. And I think that's what's something that is really great about your speeches is that you do it in a way and you speak in a way with interesting facts and interesting topics. So usually it's something that people could, you know, like, oh, cool, we're gonna be listening to somebody lecture us on presidential libraries, but it never comes off that way. You have a way of making it interesting for people. And I think that's your teacher background because you had to have a room full of students to make sure that they were paying attention. Um, so I really appreciate the way that you deliver speeches and it's not in a vocal, you know, strong, this is what I'm trying to get across way. You are very conversational and I appreciate that um, and really love that about your speeches. Uh, so you asked me to look for a few things. Was it dry as dust? No, I loved it. I'm giving the evaluation. I thought it was really interesting. I love the facts that you brought and I, that's what kept it interesting is that you had facts of why would anybody ever know why people were choosing it and that it wasn't their hometown, et cetera. That's really, I thought those were interesting facts. Um, you had asked me about crushed words and you know, there are a few, but it's not distracting. I know John Ruff would probably, evil John Ruff would think differently, uh, but I, it, I don't find it distracting in your speeches. I still, you know, if it was taking away, then I think it would be a different conversation. But you know, you're a sewer, I'm a sewer, we're good. And then timing, the albatross around your neck, as you had stated to me, you did it. You stayed within time. That's that's a big accomplishment, uh, but it's, it, it is hard. And, and that's something we're trying to figure out as we're hybrid, what that timing, Vic is giving me the signs right now that I need to get off the stage soon. So mm -hmm. that's something that we will figure out as we go along in this path. So I think the thing that we'll need to focus on is everybody, not just you, Anita, how we do this hybrid thing to make everybody virtually feel included, how we make everybody that is in the room feel included. So it still feels like we're all you know, speaking to each other, but otherwise, great speech. Always love your speeches. I always look forward to when I see you on the speaking docket. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>